needle disposable boxes inside some of its stores. And it is a polarizing idea that has a lot of people talking tonight. Starbucks made the decision because it's not uncommon for employees to find uncapped needles and discarded syringes on back bathroom floors. Sometimes they see them sticking out of trash bags yeah. as they're emptying that waste. So it's dangerous for them to pick up. So the idea here, provide a place for users to throw them away safely. What do you think, though? Should more fast food restaurants and coffee shops have these needle disposal boxes? A spokesperson for Starbucks says 3,700 employees have already signed a petition supporting the boxes. They say they are tired of picking up syringes that could expose them to drugs, HIV, or hepatitis. So another backdrop for this decision is the opioid crisis. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, more than 115 people die from an opioid overdose every day. Drugs like fentanyl and heroin fall into the opioid category, which are some of the deadliest drugs statistically. Starbucks says it's another reason for the drug disposal boxes. You've had a lot to say about this. So Naomi on Twitter asks, why aren't needle boxes standard in all bathrooms? Killer Queen on Twitter says, though it's perfect for diabetics, it's a terrible idea for street drug users. But Emily argues she's worked at Starbucks and on one occasion a co-worker was taken to the hospital after a needle prick. Wow. Starbucks is also testing other solutions. Heavy duty trash mm -hmm. bags as one solution. Cans out of stores altogether at certain locations. So they're trying to figure out a couple of ideas here. If you'd like to vote on 11alive.com slash vote, we do want to know what you think. It's been interesting to see as your thoughts have gone yeah. across the street uh, sc screen. Overwhelmingly, yeah. yes. Yeah, they think that it's a good idea. And a lot of folks in, in the law enforcement community, they probably feel the same way. They're searching people. They're out there in the community. And of course, this becomes an issue for them as well. But now it is obviously spilling over into the public. All right, we'll keep tabs on it.